Hello and welcome back. And that is right, we've got more information on a new QNAP NAS that's coming, I honestly couldn't tell you. End of the year, 2022, we're just not sure. We're finding out more and more information in breadcrumb form, bit by bit, on the newer generation of devices coming from QNAP that's going to be hopefully forming part of a larger range of devices that are going to be Intel-based NAS systems. Now, this is one of the more niche releases out there. This is the HS264. It's a NAS that we talked about actually about a couple of months ago when some early details were kind of accidentally revealed, one would assume, from QNAP in a firmware release. This forms the latest release in their silent NAS series. For those that aren't aware, QNAP have had a range of systems for a while known as the Silent NAS series. The HS, it is a NAS that is fanless. It takes advantage of a wide array of heat sinks internally in conjunction with a large external metal panel for heat dissipation, resulting in a NAS that is significantly quieter than anything else they have produced. It's been a popular series. It's incredibly niche, as I say, but... For those of you that are either very sensitive to heat, to noise, or you work within an industry such as photo video editing, where ambient noise has to be heavily controlled, then a silent NAS like this is really, really important. But although we talked about this before, we've actually got a great deal more information on the specifications found, again, with some information that was arguably accidentally put online by the brand. Now, this is a new two-bay silent NAS system. I would argue, based on the architecture we know, it's a little bit more comparable to that of the HS251 Plus um, that came before the most recent release, the HS453DX. We're going to go through those in a little bit. Um, but this is an Intel Celeron or Celeron um, uh, quad-core NAS system. It takes advantage of the N5105, a chip that I have talked about here on the channel and was kind of tipping to be the next choice for a lot of NAS brands out there. This CPU is a quad core 2.0 gigahertz processor that can be burst up to 2.9 gigahertz so a lovely high frequency there it also has embedded graphics there on board uhd graphics and again that means this is going to be great for plex maybe for virtual machines certainly for surveillance and a number of other key features in the qts platform now there are pros and cons here to discuss um, first and foremost this cpu um, supports up to 16 gig of ddr4 memory great However, this silent NAS system arrives with just 8 gig, I say just, that's still quite a lot, but 8 gig of DDR4 memory that can't be upgraded or swapped out apparently. So again, you can't exceed that, which means if you are going to use something like this for virtualization, that's a little bit of a glow, uh, low glass ceiling for you there. And certainly, if you're a user that was thinking, mm, maybe this is going to be an entry point for ZFS on some of these more SMB level systems, 8 gig in a Celeron is not a lot to go on there. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be utterly locked in at the EXT4 uh, QTS uh, version 5 right now for their software and services. The CPU is rated on CPU benchmark at 3,376. Um, I will add with this CPU as well that it's quite a recent release. According to most reports, it is a Q1 2021 release there. So depending on what your kind of annual cycle there is, that's still a relatively recent CPU for NAS series where more often when we've seen CPUs utilized in NAS, they've generally been in circulation for a good couple of years at that point. It's also worth highlighting that Intel has been refreshing their CPU ranges quite a lot at the point of different manufacturer so we are seeing and again you'll hear about this more in other videos that cpu changes have been actually quite rife recently and something we're gonna kind of have to get used to a lot in the nas industry now i mentioned earlier on that this is more comparable as a release to the older hs251 plus now the reason for that is that this new silent nas it's got the two hard drive bays but it doesn't feature um 2.5 i'm sorry it doesn't support m2 ssd base and it doesn't support 10 gbe these are two things that were actually available in the more um recent silent now say recent 2018 released hs 453 dx now that was quite an impressive silent nas there it was technically a four bay two hard drive two ssd and a 10 gpe equipped nas system it had a celeron as well inside celeron you guys um but the that nas was really quite fantastically expensive for what was a you know a two 
by NAS system with optional SSD and 10 GBE. And I think that was one of the reasons for as much as I liked it, I know a lot of you were not keen on the HS453DX simply because you seem to be paying quite a substantial amount of whack for you know, a two bay NAS. Now I think that's what they've done here. They've reined it in slightly. And although we don't have any pricing on this system, I think it's going to be very hard for them to make a price point on the HS264 um, here that's going to be anything like what we've seen previously. To put that into perspective, this CPU that this system arrives with, because it has more CPU lanes, possibly it could have had the, those M2 SSD bays. It could have had 10 GBE, but rather than go for that, they've kind of upscaled other ports on the system instead. So this system arrives with two 2.5 GBE ports there, which let's face it, when you look at, you know, the majority of QNAP releases in the last 18 months to two years, and again, the 60, uh, sorry, the 5.3D here, a classic example, 2.5 GBE is kind of, kind of the standard for their network interface ports. So it's nice that this system is arriving with those two ports on there. Also, it's arriving with HDMI 2.0. So again, that's 4K at 60 frames per second output, and it's got two ports, although it's worth bearing in mind that you can't use those independently within the HD station parallel HDMI output app. You can only utilize the secondary port there for mirroring the first port or extended screening, which again, bit of a shame having those two ports and it just feels like you've really got one great port and another sort of clone of it, but nonetheless, it's nice to have them there. Also, in terms of USB connectivity, this system's gonna arrive with USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, that 10 gigabit connected ports there for much faster localized USB connections. And again, these are things, once you look at a lot of the backup software and the um, kind of offered um, synchronization and data protection routines that are built into QTS in most recent releases, you can kind of see which way the brand is going on this. And as much as they prioritize 10 GBE, it is worth remembering this is a two bay NAS. Even if you put a couple of SATA SSDs in there, you're not gonna hit and, and saturate a thousand megabytes per second. So it sort of makes sense for two times 2.5 GBE ports on two SATA ports where the most you're ever gonna get is about 250 to 267 megabytes per second. And that's if you use enterprise SSDs at all. So, while we're talking about silent NAS, I do think it's important that we talk about the word silent a little bit there. Because although I've talked about silent NAS before, a number of you may have come to this video thinking, cool, silent, sign me up, buttercup, slow down. It's worth remembering that that fanless architecture of silent NASes will mean that this system can get quite warm. And although the heat dissipation panel at the top in this very modified and uniquely shaped chassis clears that a great deal, it's worth remembering that if you are utilizing more enterprise grade hard drives, such as the, the Western Digital 10TB Ultrastar series, or basically anything above about eight terabytes, the result you're gonna find is that although the system is gonna be borderline whisper quiet with maybe a slight electronic hum that you'd really have to get close to here, the enterprise grade hard drives, the clicks, the hums, the whirs, the spin up, the spin down, the reading of the actuator inside, these are noises you will hear. These are noises that you would hear in any NAS fan or not. So do remember this is arguably going to be a silent NAS with a very low acoustic footprint and ambient noise. But if you install hard drives inside that are, are um, industrial by their very build, that silent nature is going to be all but fruitless. So do bear in mind when looking at this two-bay system that silence is built into the NAS, not into the drive media. Now, returning to my earlier point at the start of the video, I still don't know when this is going to arrive. We're not with none of the information we've seen on this or any of the other new QNAPs I've discussed here on the channel is by any means a formal announcement. And a lot of the releases that we're seeing that these are you know, supposedly follow-ups too, I would argue they are either still in their pump or well within the expected life cycle of these products before a refresh. Generally, around a year and a half to two years, we often find with a lot of these solutions. And although the most recent silent NAS prior to this was a 2018-19 release, so well within that cycle, this is by no means a high-profile device when compared to the likes of the rest of the potential 6462 and 64C series that we talked about previously. Ergo, as much as I'd like to see this NAS come sooner, 
Unfortunately, I think we are looking at a 2022 release sometime, perhaps winter, spring, but who knows at this stage. And of course, as soon as we know more, I'll be the first to tell you about it. So if you do want to learn more about this device, do click subscribe. If you've enjoyed the video, click like. And of course, there's a link in the description to a full breakdown of everything we know that I will regularly update over on NAS Compare. So do click that and find out more. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for a new network attached storage solution, I've got to say, the current silent NAS, that HS453DX, say what you will about the 10 GBE and the you know the price tag and stuff like that being a little bit highfalutin, it's still one of my favorite NASs of all time, and I recommend you check out my video on that where I said as much some two, two and a half years ago. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.